Hello? Somebody told me one time at a camp meeting, I'll never forget this, Pastor Jerry, a preacher walked up to me. He said, and the famous thing to say among preachers, and y'all gonna agree, is are you busy? Are you busy? Because they contribute busyness to being fruitful somehow, but you can be busy and as unfruitful as they come. You can be busy bound under Satan's yoke. That's what busy can stand for. If you're so busy doing a work for the Lord that you don't even have time for the Lord of the work, amen, and prayer, come on, anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Uh, you got an idol and it's your ministry. But that's the famous thing to ask. And so in him asking that, he next asked, where was you in revival last? May I might remind you, this pastor would never book me. Never would. But he'd always inquire where I'd been and what I'd been. <laughs> Come on, somebody. And he actually would sit around a big table. Somebody knew what I meant when I said that. And I told him where I'd been. He didn't even give me a chance to say anything else about it. He said, oh, brother, you don't need to go back there. That place is dead. And in those days, I went under the title of evangelist because it suited everybody's feelings better. No one that weren't what I was called to be, God sends them to the world. Prophets he sends to his house. Come on, somebody. And God told me in the 90s, he said, you're my prophet and I send you to my houses to where my lost sheep are to bring order back to my houses among my own. Come on, somebody. Anybody here, Holy Ghost, we think prophets are those that just walk around and thus saith the Lord, this is coming to pass. Yes, they'll mention things about the future, but I promise you they'll preach more about the past. They'll call people back to altars as they rebuild them and call people back to Jesus. Come on, somebody. Who, what people? Somebody say his own people. His people that's wandered from him. Come on, somebody. That's what I breathe every day. That's what I hear every day. I can't hardly help it. I'll wake up and God will give me some error that's being preached into his people's houses, into the church. I'm always hearing that controversial word. And he don't send me to the world with it. He sends me to his own with it. Jesus walked into the temple with a whip and said, this is a house of prayer. You made it a den of thieves in Matthew 21, 13. And then verse 14, he healed the blind and the lame. Look at your neighbor and say, until we get a whip, we can't see wonders. So I'll say, whooping comes before the wonders. But, 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 he said, that's a dead church. I wouldn't go there. And I said, uh, brother, evangelist, revival. Hey. Ain't that where I'm supposed to be going? We never discussed anything about where I've been or where I've been doing after that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I thought, yeah, I know your kind. You only want to go anywhere where the checkbook is big. Uh, hey, man, come on, somebody. The bank account's fat. Uh, hallelujah. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To people... Jesus was saying, I forgive you, were those that were crucifying him. 